All right, doing the heat exchanger, fog lights, and gotta replace this grill that V Dub fucked up. So I'm gonna take out these here and these up here under the fender and pull the bumper. Oh, there it is. That was a bitch. Uh, it says, oh, we'll just pull and they unclip. And also, if you reach under your grill, you end up grabbing that foam and ripping it off. I'm trying to do that. And then we gotta figure out where the fuck to mount this. And then pull that crap off. This thing is a bitch. Let me see, just depress these tabs with the flat head. And then just rotate this and slide it down and out. And now we have some more room to work with. Uh, potentially gonna mount it here. I don't know that I wanna mount it onto the actual bumper. So thinking this Hard enough, sturdy enough. Uh, it'd be nice if this fucking sensor wasn't here. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I don't think I can relocate it though. We'll see. Okay, so the temperature gauge. I had to slide off. Off. There's a little metal back bracket that I just bent up there. It's gonna have to be relocated somewhere else. It's the only way this thing's fitting. Still working on mounting points. Oh, drilled two holes into the bumper. Gonna run this L bracket down to here. Set it up for the center so I have some left to right play for adjustment. We'll see how it goes. So I pulled the top hose off, connected it with the bottom, ran it down to the tank, ran this hose back up and connected it where it was originally connected. And then just zip tie it out of the way. See it ran from down there. Tie it to this hose. And drive it around a little bit. Let it suck all cooling out. So it was all the way up to here. Yeah, so far it's gone about two reservoirs full. I just topped it off again. Fill it back up and then we'll recheck it about 20 miles.